to Sunday. Look, get your tea out for this quick message for y'all. We got it on our channel. It's Easter Sunday. You still have this shit you're gonna do until you're supposed to be achieving this year. What's going on? Matter of fact, I don't wanna hear no excuses. You're here to listen. You're not here to talk. After your family dinner with your peoples, you come back from your club, partying, get drunk, eating chocolate with your kids, having fun. That night, I want you to really think about your life, bro. And where your life is going to be in three years, five years. I don't believe it taking 10 years ahead because you never know what happened. You might come up with a million dollars in that fifth year or some shit. You feel me? So 10 years from now, you're going to be a completely different person, believe it or not. You decide to stay the same is your choice. Nobody's forcing you to stay the same. You can either grow or grow old and be dumb. It's two types of people. It's people that's growers and the showers. And with growing, you do results by action. Showers feel like they got to show you every little step of the way, right? When you see them fitness influencers, or I don't know if you pay attention to like influencers, period, that be on TikTok. They feel like they're showers. They feel like they got to show you every little step of the way. It's because they really don't have nothing going on. A grower, he works and analyzes everything he does to make what he's doing right now, not necessarily different, but to make a change that'll make his product different and make his message better than anybody else's. Okay, now that I explain that, the night after Easter, when Easter's over tonight, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., whatever, you're going to be in the house. Because it's a holiday, people are going to be going home late. If you're hosting, you, your night ends when everybody leaves. I want you to sit by your bed just for one time. You know, it's been years since you did it. Sit by your bed. Get down. And pray against your bed. Ask God what you really want to achieve. No, tell God what you really want to achieve. And ask them for preparation. Don't ask them, don't ask them to bless you with it. Because you is the what it to go get the what it. You know what I'm saying? To go get the for it, what it, whatever you want to call it. Ask them for preparation and promise him you'll work harder, not for yourself. Because that's the least you can do for your family. Go on.